Do you have a good 30 second sound bite of why people love Olaf so much? You know, I think that the reason that people connect with Olaf so much is that if you're a child, you relate to him instantaneously. But all of us have that quality that is the child at heart. And it's that youthfulness, that sense of innocence that we shed pretty early on, but that we strive to hang on to. And I think Olaf reminds us all of that. It reminds us that the world isn't just cynical, that there is another perspective out there that is just optimism imbued. Yes, nice. Uh, and what is in, what's new for Olaf in Frozen 2? Well, Olaf, uh, who was very much uh, almost a, like a toddler in the first film in that he was the embodiment of naivete and, and childlike wonderment in this movie, he's sort of gone into a new mature phase uh, of like going from toddler to a more mature child. And now he's asking difficult questions and he's starting to understand that sometimes the questions come with difficult answers. And so he's on this journey of self-discovery like Anna and Elsa and Kristoff. Um, change is a big theme in this film and um, Olaf is worried and how are his fears addressed? Well, right up front in the movie, um, Olaf looks at Anna and asks her before they break into a wonderful new song by Bobby and Kristen called Something's Never Change, why can't things always stay the same? Uh, and he realizes that just like the change of the seasons, change comes to us all. People get older, people look different, people act different, the world makes decisions that sometimes you, you have to grapple with. And so for Olaf, it's trying to put those pieces together with a, a mind that is new to the world. Uh, Olaf finds himself alone in the enchanted forest. Uh, what is, what's happening in there? <laughs> so. Olaf has a, a moment where he is off wandering into an enchanted forest uh, in which he comes across some very strange occurrences, um, a, a little bit of a haunted uh, forest is more like it, and he has to take a deep breath and remind himself that this will all make sense when he's older, which is his new uh, wonderfully hilarious song, again written by Bobby and Kristen, uh, and whereas In Summer was sort of the reflection of a character who didn't understand that there were consequences in life, uh, this is more of a song that's about the world is crazy, I recognize that, but maybe I just have yet to figure out why it's so insane. Um, we also meet a character uh, called Gail. Can you talk to us about who Gail is? Gail is the wind spirit. She is very frivolous. Um, she has a lot of power, um, but is also l very lovable and, and takes to Olaf, it, it seems like. Um, she is the first spirit we meet along the way, and uh, she's one that always seems to tickle Olaf's fancy. They say in theaters, send them out humming. Uh, what song do you think Man, people will walk out humming? I woke up this morning the day after the premiere of this movie, already singing into the unknown. I am. I want to apologize to parents now. I we're we've done it all over again, and I and I'm so sorry. I know because I've got two kids. It's going to be a long haul. <laughs>